Christmas Eve. It's really funny. This guy, I'm just outside. Anyway, this guy who lives on the street, <laughs> he lives in a rooming house. There's a beach. There's no rooming house. There's only one. It's way up there. He came by and gave me 20 bucks. See that? Yeah. I, he, he stopped me on um, Kingston Road about, God, it's got to be a, two months ago. He said I needed $10 to buy his psych meds because he's a little bit insane but he's a pleasant guy he really is he goes can i i need to borrow 10 bucks why uh, i gotta get my psych meds and i went I, so i opened my wallet and i was just out for a walk and i had 20 bucks i go here's a 20 dollar bill he goes thank you i'll pay you back and i haven't seen him he just came he just came up my driveway. And he goes, here's the 20 bucks. I go, no, it's a, whatever. I don't care. Keep it. Merry Christmas. He goes, no, I want you to have it. You saved my life. It's really interesting. Like when you do these small little favors for people, even when you're broke and you do something nice for somebody, they, it comes back. It comes back to you. So I, you know, I chatted with a guy and I said, yeah, okay, thank you. I'll take the 20. I'll give it to my wife. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just such a strange thing on Christmas Eve. Ah, <sighs> Christmas Eve. Lost over $100,000 in wages this year. <laughs> but things still come back, you know, to bless you. <laughs> I'm still I'm still laughing about it. I told the guy don't worry about it. But he left the twenty, so I'll give it to my wife. Why I don't